my name is Emily Best. I'm the founder and CEO of Seed and Spark. Seed and Spark is an entertainment platform built to increase diversity and inclusion in entertainment. I am also a board member of Cinefem. So one of the things that first really attracted me to Cinefem was their fiscal sponsorship program, right? That's the ability for a filmmaker without starting their own 501c3 to raise money in a tax deductible way. It makes them eligible for grants, um, it changes the nature of their crowdfunding campaigns, um, and it knits them into a network um, that they might not otherwise have access to. Over the years, Cinefem has been a fiscal sponsor for dozens of crowdfunding projects that have been hosted on Seed and Spark. And this is a wonderful resource that we can offer to women creators who uh, want to work with Seed and Spark. Being able to offer uh, audiences a tax deduction, especially when um, audiences are getting involved because they want to support women in the arts, um, it can sometimes encourage audiences to get involved at a higher level than they normally would and that's of course good for everyone. There are other fiscal sponsors out there, but they're the only one uh, on the West Coast anyway that is uh, exclusively available for uh, projects helmed by women. And the reason that that's really important is that women in this industry face um, some different challenges and Cinefem has built uh, a unique set of tools um, on beyond just fiscal sponsorship to really help women uh, get a leg up with their uh, fiction and nonfiction projects. My favorite Cinefem memory has to be a dinner with dames uh, that was organized by Jenna and Michelle with uh, Paul Feig, um, who is a dapper fella. Um, I would learn not only about his incredible and deep support for female creators and really like using his position um, to help uh, women and women-led organizations get a leg up. Uh, I would also learn that he doesn't go anywhere uh, not in a three-piece suit. One of the things that really excites me about the future of Cinefem is all the work that we're doing to um, really increase the, um, the structures for women to um, move into positions of power. I actually think one of the greatest hindrances to women in this culture, whether personally or professionally, is a culture of scarcity. And that's one that has told us forever that uh, a job for her is not a job for you, that popularity for her is not popularity for you, or uh, love for her is not love for you. And it's created um, this story about how women are competitive. Um, but that competition is a perfectly reasonable response in a culture of scarcity. And so one of the, the things that has been uh, a passion of mine is uh, working on ways to cultivate a culture of plenty. Um, I did that by starting a salon um, that really just started as gathering a few women at my house every month uh, and grew into a, a, a Google group where women can use it to hire each other and to uh, find resources and advice um, of over 2,500. Um, that's never meant to be sort of a formal organization. And what's so important to me about being involved with something like Cinefem is Cinefem is taking that energy of the culture of plenty and doing real things with it. Um, building mentorship programs, um, making opportunities for uh, female filmmakers to sit down with their idols um, at dinner with dames, uh, making opportunities for women to get grants by being uh, fiscally sponsored, um, real uh, structures that are available to all women um, that really help us overcome um, what has historically been a culture of scarcity and really actually build towards a culture of plenty. If you are not opening your wallets for places like Cinefem right now, what are you doing with your life? This is what we need. It is not about a hashtag, it is not about a social media post, it is about voting with your dollars for the culture that you care about. Um, $10, $5, $500, $5,000, $5, any of those are the right amount of dollars that are appropriate for you to give to Cinefem right now.